Hi everyone and as we have discussed that uh, we are going to talk about NSCS testing. So this is the kind of agenda which we are going to cover in the NSCS testing. I mean overall testing is part of a unit testing and end to end testing and uh, there is not like a lots of concepts to understand. It's all about mocking and uh, for unit testing, testing the controller services and all the other building blocks of uh, NSCS and for E2E we actually run the end-to-end -end test targeting either a test database or uh, in-memory database and you can also plan to run all these things on CI so we can just plan with the GitLab CI where we can run unit tests and integration test on a test database okay so this is just like a simple agenda like we are going to understand how we can test the controller and services I mean it can be a simple a simple controller or it can be a complex controller having lots of things a simple service or a service which is having a dependencies on any other services so you need to take care about mocking of all those things when you are testing uh, specific methods and we are going to use jest jest is actually a test runner and it provides uh, assertions assertions and mocking all those things are provided by jest and when you do npm run test internally it is running the jest test cases which we are writing in the dot spec dot ts or dot spec dot gs file and uh, jest is a test runner and we are writing either unit tests or end to end test in i mean we have talked a lot about nestjs and you know how the basic setup is there right if you talk about simple and this whole series is part of an SCS uh, advanced course. I'm going to add these videos there. So you can see here we are creating .spec.ts file and then creating the testing module. And then once the testing module is created with the, all the required dependencies, we try to get the service instance, controller instance, or, or any other thing which we have created under testing module. And then we test the instance, we call the methods and we check okay if this method has been called all sort of things we are going to do but this is uh, a very simple right so we will talk about how we can mock a service and mock different kind of providers how we can mock uh, external auth service or external data service which is fetching or giving us the data next just testing when you are using typo rm or next prisma sqlize i mean the, these there are different interfaces and testing will be a little different concepts are same but when you test a uh, nestjs with the graphql when you test a nestjs uh, websocket when you test nestjs simple rest apis obviously you need to understand the basic concepts otherwise rest all the code and mocking is kind of the same the only important thing uh, which i see from the uh, developers also who, who watches my videos like how can we do end to end test uh, where we can actually seed the database and clean up the database, right? So we'll try to have a database setup. Uh, I mean, test setup in such a way that after every test, we can actually clean up the test database and seed the test database. This can be done with the Prisma, uh, Typo RM, and Next. Next is actually query builder that can be used with the Nest chest for building the APIs. So next is Nest chest testing with the GraphQL interface or REST API interface or uh, testing the controller services or any other building blocks and then running a test suit test suit means uh, you wanted to run a particular scenario where okay user logs in user created a course then you try to get a course by id then you add a comment to the course then you try to fetch the comment and in this particular scenario you are actually hitting a multiple apis and just checking the data if the records has been created properly or not that's a uh, that's a complete test suit execution and apart from that we will talk about how we are uh, seeding the database for test ex execution and on top of that we will also see how you can run the whole unit tests and end-to-end -end tests in uh, GitLab CI because that is the end goal to have our test cases running in the CI before deploying either your REST API or GraphQL API or any kind of interface which you are deploying so that is the overall and uh, this uh, code will be added in the same repository nestjs advance and here we have already i mean when you create a nestjs the basic setup is already there so you don't need to 
do additional thing here it contains the test script test watch test coverage test debug or a simple test which is using jest and we already have a jest config which takes care of running the test cases you can see this is the jest for e2e test cases i think we should have one jest config at the root what it is using it is using ts jest for typescript test cases and uh, it is looking for dot ts or dot js files it is collecting the coverage and it is uh, these are the extensions which it is including in it in it right and for e2 tests inside test setup you can see here we have inside test these are the end to end test cases and it is just a just e2 dot json uh, different configuration because for e2 -E, we will have a different extension of files like .e2e stack.ts and this is a setup file uh, i mean this is just like uh, when you are running a end to end test so you also need to populate uh, the test environment okay like uh, i'm going to hit the test database or a particular test environment so you can actually bootstrap those environment variables before running the end to end tests all those things we are going to cover in this i will keep adding the folders in the same repository and uh, let's get started uh, running the the tests for the nest js